in this lesson we talk about page speed. So Google has been pushing for fast loading sites for quite a while now. From my perspective though, performance is mostly a user experience topic, if anything. So granted, it helps with SEO, delivering you know, better and faster crawling, indexation and also efficiency. But you should build a fast loading website because you really care about your users first and foremost. And you do not want them to wait for anything. According to a Nielsen report, 47% of people expect a website to load within two seconds. And actually even 40% will leave a website if it hasn't fully loaded in within three seconds. So there's not much room for errors, really. 100 milliseconds can make a massive difference. Amazon managed to increase performance. For example, for every 100 milliseconds, they grew 1% plus in revenue. So these are really impressive numbers. There are some numbers available for you as a starting point in Google Search Console, specifically the time spent downloading, which measures the time to complete an HTTP request. It is an average, though, on files such as you know, CSS, JavaScript, and others. Thus, the number is heavily flawed, really. It can only be used to understand trends. So let's look at some of the must-have tools that you should be familiar with when we talk about page speed. In the last years, Google has been heavily promoting their own PageSpeed Insights tool. You can essentially plug in a given URL and it returns you a very rough overview of where you stand. The tool returns a score from 0 to 100 and makes also some recommendations that you might or might not want to follow, depending on what they find on your website, of course. These recommendations are only partially actionable. Plus, it's often unclear what the return of invest is of an improvement, say, from you know, 87 to 88, and what that actually would be. So yes, it is a starting point, but that's literally about it. Another solution is webpagetest.org, and it actually has everything that you need to start performance optimization work. It gives you lots of different metrics, um, also information about compression, things like caching, and special recommendations on how to optimize your images. They also have a super detailed waterfall diagram where you can see how a page is loading and what the dependencies you know, towards other URLs are. It also further visualizes details such as DNS lookup times, blocking periods and much, much more. Lastly, they even have a film strip view, essentially a video where you can see how your site is built up and then spot issues during rendering straight away. And the best thing is, it's actually free. One more newcomer is the performance report within the SEMrush site audit tool. In this report, you can see the loading speed distribution across your website's pages, as well as your site's average page load speed trend. You can also see a breakdown for each page by the number and size of, say, JavaScript and CSS files. These diagrams, along with a detailed list of checks for the most common issues that could slow down your website, will give you an idea on how to enhance its performance and actually ensure sufficient page speed. There is a why and how to fix it tooltip next to each check. By clicking which you will find more information on a certain issue and getting actionable recommendations on how to solve it. The new kit in town is called Lighthouse. It is a Google tool again and has been implemented into the Google Chrome browser. It has a specific focus on auditing for mobile performance. It makes sense as page speed, even nowadays, is a ranking factor. However, Google just recently announced that you know, by mid-2018, they would be using your mobile site as the one that is basically responsible for performance scoring. So in the past, your score was based on your desktop site. This will really change now. Google will look at your mobile performance now and score and rank you accordingly. PageSpeed is a ranking factor, so keep in mind that it's mostly about how fast everyone really is. Am I slower than the rest? If so, there is a problem. Also, please keep in mind that performance optimization and measurement is not you know, this one-off project. You must do it over time. So ideally, you would want to compare it against your competitors to understand what's going on in the industry and also to see how you would perform against them. On an enterprise level, there's tools like Speed Curve, which really can help significantly with that. If you want to get started with a free tool, 
there is also uh, what's called the performance dashboard from sitespeed.io, which can essentially kind of do the same thing. It is really powerful to see the trend lines over a week and over a month, and then to see how your competitors are doing at the same time. Thank <laughs> you.